I always particularly found water to be beautiful. How fragile it appears as raindrops slowly fall down the face of your beloved. How strong it is as you swim and later in life realize those tiny waves will one day be your very source of fear. Yet we catch ourselves mesmerized by it. Nature can be beautiful, but in its ugliness, the beauty of it seems to flourish the most vibrant. Water, or H2O, is a molecule that is a binder. All our biological processes are very much wet. Hydrogen bonds forming and breaking, and osmosis occurring, a natural force driven a bit like it has its own mind as it travels to regions lacking fluids as if it's alive it's combined with sodium or potassium chloride later form the soap or shampoo we need for renewal after a day's worth of sweat by cleaning it all away water just is no feelings attached to it what it is it will do what it do be an ocean be in our biological processes to even be in soap if mermaids are humans on the water i guess we are in a way mermaids with our water filled clouds hovering over our heads if dropped down enough can sink the entire earth making a water version of pangea our mucousy lungs similar to the slimy gills of fish we exclude and intake such beautiful water such ancient water seeking living waters regardless of feelings such fleetingness to do the very natural glyphs bestowed onto you with a love filled with others just as you have for yourself just wake up water is the middle ground it's the anchor a cleaning agent in all of our lives regardless of borders just be that be transcended feelings and all attached to it it's the ugliness within you that amplifies you as well so choose choose what you will be mindlessness is a delusion and a choice will simply be made regardless